Good day, my name is Saida Jimenez, and I will be presenting the federal tuition assistance portion of this brief. What is tuition assistance? Well, tuition assistance is the financial assistance to help soldiers with up to the voluntary civilian education. This means soldiers that want to go and pursue an undergraduate or graduate degree at a college or a secondary, post-secondary education. How do you qualify? You must be actively serving in the National Guard, not be flagged or pending on favorable action. You must maintain a 2.0 undergraduate or 3.0 graduate GPA when your course is funded by federal tuition assistance. And you must commit to a service obligation. Um, enlisted must complete the FTA funded courses prior to their ETS date. Commissioned uh, officers and warrant officers must complete either a two year ADSO for AGR or active duty uh, officers or a four year um, ADSO, RADSO for uh, NTA soldiers. How do you qualify? There are two tiers for federal tuition uh, qualification. First a tier, you must have to be currently serving in the National Guard and have completed AIT, Warrant Officer Basic Course or Basic Officer Leadership Course. You do not have attained a bachelor's degree prior and wish to pursue an undergraduate academic certificate, associate, or bachelor's degree. You must have attained a bachelor's uh, degree and wish to pursue an academic degree without the help of a federal tuition assistance. It means that if you are already earned your bachelor's degree and you want to pursue a graduate degree, you can do so if no portion of the bachelor's degree was funded for federal tuition assistance, and that's tier one. Tier two, you must be currently uh, serving at in the National Guard and have completed advanced leadership, advanced leaders course, warrant officer advanced course, or captain's career course. You must have attained a bachelor's with the use of FTA uh, to use to you to pursue your master's degree. So what do you get? You get uh, 16 semester hours up to $250 per semester hour uh, per fiscal year. You must use it towards your undergraduate, graduate certificate, uh, undergraduate certificate, associate, bachelor's or master's degree. Our 130 credit limit, uh, credit semester hour limit for undergraduate degrees, 39 semester hour credit limit for graduate degrees, and 21 semester hour credit limit for undergraduate or graduate certificates, which can be taken every five years. To apply, you must create a GoArmyet account in www.goarmyet.com. You must click on new user, if you are a new user, and complete all the required data. All FTA requests must be submitted prior to course start date, no later than five business days prior to be eligible for an ETP. You must submit an FTA for each individual course for funding, and new users must complete VIA, which is a planning tool designed to help soldiers identify the best fit school and degrees. For assistance, contact your state education service specialist, guidance counselor, or ES ESET. Contact, you can also contact the GoArmy at Help Desk case. Uh, help desk at 1-800-817-9990. And now to credentialing assistance. What is credentialing assistance? Well, it's almost the same as FTA, but for credentials. The newest, this is the newest Army education program that provides financial assistance to help pay for a credential or life insurance listed in the Army Pool website. How do you qualify? Well, soldiers must begin on the first credential upon successful completion of AIT, Warrant Officer Basic Course, or Basic Officer Leadership Course. So, what do you get when you apply for credentialing assistance? DA will provide soldiers up to $4,000 to pay for an eligible credential that is listed in www.cool.osd.mil/army. 
soldiers can use FTA and credentialing assistance at the same time, but they must be aware that there is a combined usage uh, limit of $4,000 per FY. Credentials does not have to be listed to the soldier's MOS. NCA will actually pay for all expenses related for classroom, hands-on, online, blended training, and associate materials to include manual study guides, textbooks, proxy entries, test fees, any other related expenses. To apply, you must contact your state education officer or state education education service specialist and discuss the CA application process and verify that you are eligible to take this credential. Ensure that the credential is listed in the Army Corps website, and that is in www.cool.osd.mil. Army. Ensure that you have an active Go Army Ed account. Ensure your training provider is in the approved training list of Go Army Ed. If it's not on the approved training list, you can still submit it to Army University and they will vet the vendor. You must open a credential assistance, a credential request help this case in Go Army Ed. You must download the credentialing plan and statement of understanding and fill these documents out. And all applications for credential assistance must be submitted no later than 30 business days, that's 45 calendar days prior to course start date. Education uh, Office will review all your documents for completion and escalate to Army University for action. Army University will notify the soldier if the uh, request has been approved or disapproved. And after the soldier completes the credential, the soldier must upload the certificate of completion no later than 10 business days after the training end date. These are some of the most popular certifications. Um, certified Personal Trainer, Commercial Driver's License, CompTIA, Link 661. You can also go for testing only, and there are two major companies that offer certificates for exam. The first one is Pearson View at home.pearsonview.com and Prometric at www.prometric.com slash en dash us slash pages slash home dot aspx.